heroic link. Do not think that Hyrule is now safe from the spread of twilight. Leave these woods and go to the west, where you will find the land protected by the spirit Elden. There you will find those you seek. But know that these lands lie in twilight. They are now a dark realm covered by the clouds of dusk. If you set foot beyond the curtain of twilight, you will revert to your beast form. So be prepared. Hero chosen by the gods, leave these woods and go west to the land of the spirit Elden. That's better. Searching should be much easier now. <laughs> Oh, but of course, if you need to, go help out the other light spirits, don't you? Well, don't worry. When you turn into a beast again, I'll take good care of you. The first thing you need to do is find the land covered in twilight. Once you do, I'll help you out. <laughs> See you later. Hey, everybody. Your feel is here. Welcome back to Twilight Princess HD. Last time, we beat the uh, first dungeon of the game. Got ourselves a uh, heart container and all that fun stuff. And the lands are a whole lot peaceful now, now that, well, the evil is rid from the forest temple. This time, well, there is no other better place to go than to out, head out into the open field. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk to you. I said talk to you. Hey, guy, how's the oil in your lantern? Huh? But well, you don't have an empty bottle, so your lantern's already full. Am I right, guy? You keep using that lantern, and if it runs out of oil, come see me, guy. Say, guy, have you been to the forest temple yet? Isn't it great? I mean, sure, it's been a couple monsters stirring things up lately, but still. It's just the world we live in right now. Know what I mean? Things are rough all over. Yep, so, now that a fun little bit of detail, if you happen to have an empty bottle, you see the scoop icon here. You can use this to mix up some bad soup. Drink it, and you will lose a heart. Yeah. Turns out he is not a very good cook indeed, so there is a rock we can't bomb right now. So, no other place to go except heading out into the field. Alright then, so welcome to Hyrule Field, where things are a whole lot more open now. Yep, and also these books, and plus the uh, goblins here, actually do have a lot more health now. So now they do require you to uh, finish them out once in a while, so... Yeah, all the fun stuff out of the way. Here we go, Hyrule Field. <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves a big old field here. And if we try picking this up and blowing it. Nothing happened. Yeah, Epona is still somewhere out in the world, nowhere to be seen, so... That is kind of a bummer part. So yeah, so here in the fields, there's not a lot we can do right now. In fact, there's only three things we can do right now. Well, besides we got these jokers here. Eh. There we go. With those jokers out of the way. Also, you may notice that the, uh... There's some, uh... Audio things going on right now, now then. Somewhere, yes, on this tree here, we get ourselves a piece of heart. Let's go ahead and collect this. We get ourselves piece of heart number four. One more, and we have another full heart container. Huzzah! Now then, with this all done, I'm trying to poke around here because somewhere around here, there is a new collectible that we can start collecting now. I don't think it's up here. I know it's somewhere. Anyways, coming back this way, we have ourselves a, uh, a chest underneath this, underneath this bridge. However, though, we have no way of getting to it right now. Maybe later on. And frankly, it's one of the most well-hit chests in the game that I literally found out as soon as I started recording this Let's Play. Well, not recording, but uh, ma making notes for it. So anyways, there's a couple bugs here that I'm trying to look for. Anyways, here we get ourselves a new enemy. I forgot what you guys are called, but... Yeah. Also, cargo rocks here. These guys are very annoying. Essentially, they fly up on you trying to ambush you. Now then, somewhere around here, I believe it's along this brush here. Well, anyways, dusk is about to fall, so it would make them. Here we go. There you are. So 
So located on this bridge, we get ourselves a little bug here. Excuse me, I said little bug here. Anyways, just try to go up to it, collect it. Here we go. We get ourselves a beetle. They can view it on the collection screen. This starts a important side quest. We will be needing to collect all of them because reward is actually worth it. Just because I know that you will be going after me here. Ooh, yellow rupee. Those are pretty uncommon. Now then, I'm going to be poking around here a little bit more because I do want to try to find that other bug. The other bug I just have in my notes near the heart piece. Ha! Found you, little bug. All it took was a little bit of a lighting glitch. Ha! You thought you were sneaky. Nope, all it took was some lighting issues. Alright, we got ourselves a male beetle, so that's all there is here. Essentially, all major maps have two important things to note. Also, bonking that tree apparently unleashes a whole lot of rupees. I found that out as of today. On accident. I'm sure there's quite a few trees you can bonk into for some, ru for some rupees, but... Frankly, I'm actually all good on rupees for now. So yeah, so that's basically all there is here. Make sure you get these now, otherwise it will be a bit until you uh, can do it again. So, with this all done, there's nothing really else we can do in the field right now. I mean, sure, there's a couple things, but not really. Hey! Get no further. There's a black wall ahead that blocks the way. I thought I'd deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier known to some as the Postman. Now, I've, now that I've introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. To read a letter, press blah, go to the collection screen, and you can select a letter. You can do that to read any letters you receive. Do it whenever you see fit. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. Alright. So mailman's all out of the way. I guess we can go ahead and go ahead and view our uh, letter screen here. So starting things up, we only got one letter. If I have a letter for you, I'll approach you at high speed. Please do not flee. Yeah, it's called uh, cutscenes. Otherwise, yeah. So with this all done, we're essentially done on this screen here. As you can see, this is a gigantic map, so... Yeah, but otherwise there's nothing really else here. Make sure you got the stuff that you want. Otherwise, yeah. Hey, it's much closer than I thought. Remember, right? You know what this is. If you set foot in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light from light of Elden from this violet, anyway. So, shall we try to see the light spirit of Elden? <laughs> Alright, so... Nothing else to go, so let's go ahead and head on in. Alright, want me to go into the twilight? Lead me in. That's a good boy. Now, now, you need to listen to what I say from now on. Ah, look, how lovely. The black clouds of twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And you look so much better like that than those dusty old clothes anyways. <laughs> so, let's get going. Alright, so welcome to the twilight. A uh, fun little place here. So, heading on this pathway here, we get ourselves something fun here. That looks familiar. And, uh, broken. So we can use this to sniff it. And you have learned the youth sense. See? Being a wolf is more convenient. Now use X to hone your senses. You've begun to reawaken as a wolf, I think. <laughs> Alright then, so we can use this and you can follow the scent whenever you need to. The thing though is that you actually do not need to. The scent following, I think it's only required two or three times the entire game. There's some other scents that you can do, but 
for the most part, they're kind of useless. So, heading on into here, we get ourselves some Shadow Beast and blah, 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 eat this. Um, where's the bridge? What's this? That strange bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Ugh, what a pain. Oh, well, let's look for it. You, get the map out. Okay. This yellow arrow marks where we are. You know that, right? Whenever you destroy those creatures from darkness, a portal that looks like this will show up on the map. Blah. You hear me? It's called a portal. You better remember that. And, in those woods we came through. Yes, it's gotta be around there. I'll use my power to take you to the location of the open portal. Pick it whenever you want to go. Alright, so we can go to North Faron or South Faron. I saw something fishy here in the North Faron woods. See, I told you we're here. You know, most people can't leave the twilight that easy. You better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard. I'm looking hard. It's literally right in front of the camera. Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? Yeah, let's go ahead and warp out. Good little obedient wolf. Alright then, so let's go ahead and take the bridge back to, well, where it should be. See, just as I thought. <laughs> so, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Tell me if you need the power again. It should help you find what you were looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's get going. Alright, so with this all done, there's not much else we can do here in the open field. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of broken fences. Yes, there's some optional areas here and there, but uh, we kind of need our humanity back in order to do that. Anyways, that's here some Shadow... Uh, shadow... Uh, toilet... Uh, the Cobblins, I think. Fill it with goblins. Fill it something. I'm sure future me will get it right. Maybe. I don't know. Also, why does this game have such a butt fetish? I just realized this that so many enemies here have uh, exposed butts and all that stuff. Huh? What are they doing there? This is a pretty elaborate gate. Are they trying to... What are they trying to keep in? Or out? I bet it'll be worth it or well to dig in. And that we will. No? Why to dig? Not up. Here I'm having some Wakami flashbacks, or I guess, in the original. Oh well. Just go ahead and take you guys out. Since I want to do a little bit of an outro. So there that's basically all I want to do this episode. Well, where are we time? Um, yeah, I think this will be good for the episode. We managed to do a little bit of progress. We, well, explored a little bit of, of, of Hyrule Field South, entered the Twilight, and up ahead is a new town. Next time in Twilight Princess HD, we will head on into the new town and see what lies there. I will see you all then.